Hi, I'm Karen Mulvaney and this cracker behind me is the three bed terraced house that is 24 St Bridges Road in Killester. So just to give you an idea of what we've got here, it's a three bed, three bath with an attic converted, an amazing west facing sun trap garden to the rear. Um, just to show you where we are in St Bridges Road, if we swing up that way, that is Holy Faith Killester just up there. And then swinging down that way, you're very, very close to the shops there that are just beside the Artane Road round it. So we're going and take a look. Obviously, you could turn this into a driveway subject to planning, but it's currently laid out as a really nice front garden. Gorgeous front door here, triple glazed windows. Into a citrix, into a tiled floor with hardwood flooring beyond. A lovely welcome hallway. Beautiful wood panelling the whole way through the house. Um, coming into the hall, we have a nice little downstairs WC in there. We've got Keith's bag in there. And we are walking then into the kitchen, living, dining area that is all quite open plan. So this is a huge room with a semi bay there at the front. So a really, really large room. Uh, chimney has been blocked up but can of course be opened up again very cleverly the owners here what they did when they were when they were upgrading and renovating the house is they moved all the radiators so it's a new heating system energy efficient boiler and all the radiators in the house have been moved so for some reason when these houses were all done all the radiators were under the windows no idea why if you think about it it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because your heat will go out your windows so we have the triple great glazed windows to the front and rear and the radiators have all been moved to a better location. So this is an open fireplace that has been left. We have nice high ceilings, nice cornicing here as well, and covings. So we have this laid out as our dining room. So all open plan just there, very cleverly hidden behind a sliding door because there is nothing worse than a door opening up like this, but we have a really, really spacious utility there as well. So originally in these houses, that would have been your kitchen and reception room as well. This would have been the back of the house, but this has been extended ground floor to provide a lovely kitchen. Tons of wall and floor units, a uh, semi-solid uh, floor. It's hardwood up till here, and this is semi-solid. And overlooking the rear garden there. So loads and loads of wall and floor units nice spacious separate room so you can hide and close over these doors actually sorry there's nice doors here as well and you can close that over having a dinner party and leave all your mess in here while you're entertaining your guests so we're coming in the back door here into an incredible sun, sun trapped garden now we have no sun today but the last day i was here it was absolutely scorchy out. So you're, you have properties all around you here, but you're not overlooking them. We have a lovely little storage shed here. It's very sheltered and very protected. It's from, as I said, West Facing. So we have a lovely little gate here that leads you out to a communal laneway, which is this which is vehicular access. So literally coming down St. Bridges Road, you turn left and the first left there after these houses is the lane that will bring you into the back of here. So we have loads of access to it here. This is our shed at the end of it. And the house next to us only has a pedestrian gate there, which is the end of the lane. So you've only a couple of houses here that have access to this. So that's a massive attraction. So you can see the back of the house from here. So we have this kitchen extension. We have a dormer up in the attic, which we're going to show you shortly. And actually, let's go. Can we take you upstairs? So we're coming up a fully carpeted stairs. You can see that lovely bright hallway behind me. Lovely thing about having a west facing garden is that the front of your house is east. You nearly always get the sunlight. You get it in the front of the house all morning and all evening in the back. So we're coming on to the landing here that you can see. And again, we've got that gorgeous panelling feature on the walls and into directly in front of us as we come up the stairs into a shower room. Walls are part tiled, floor fully tiled, walk-in shower, WC and wash down basin. Back out onto the landing and we have hot press here and into laminate floored double bedroom at the rear. 
huge room currently laid out as a child's bedroom overlooking that gorgeous back garden so a very bright room here it is a large double but we have loads of, loads of kids stuff here little people come with a lot of things into bedroom number one which is the master bedroom Again, with that gorgeous semi bay window at the front, we have a really nice feature of a window seat there with plenty of storage underneath that as well. So it's a nice little space to sit and chill out. And having those triple glazed windows gives you so much peace and quiet and tranquility. It's really lovely. So a nice uh, double bedroom here. We have a feature wall here where there would have been a chimney breast there, an old, because uh, they're quite old houses. There would have been an old fireplace there, which has obviously been blocked up. So a really nice room here. Into bedroom number three. Again, another child's bedroom. So we have an awful lot of toys and various different things. Laminate flooring again, overlooking the front of the house. To be fair, it's not a bright day. It's quite a dark day. You can see how bright that room is. It's, a, um, it's also late in the afternoon. So... The sunlight that you would get in this house is pretty phenomenal. That is a really big single bedroom. Now here we have proper stairs going up to the attic. So we're going to cut off so you're not watching me walking up the stairs. So we have come up the carpeted stairwell here from the first floor and onto the landing. That is, that's your landing. That is the attic conversion. So we have storage here in front of us. Loads of space here for additional storage into this is the small landing area here and we have a door leading us into this bedroom loads of plenty of storage space so we have eve storage there nice big double bedroom currently used as guest bedroom and home office this dormer gives us tons of extra space in what would otherwise be quite a tight attic so we've low a dormer will always give you so much more space Leading into an ensuite, which again is a shower room, so very, very nicely done. Guest shower, WC, and wash hand basin. Again, this room is floored, and that concludes the accommodation for 24 St. Bridget's Road in Colester on market for 550,000. And for more information, go to kmproperty.ie.